Well, it's yeah, very it definitely is. And um, to the left is the uh, Naya Punishing Fire player. So we have Reanimator versus Punishing Fire. We'll see uh, how this match plays out. All right, so it looks like... Both players keep. Yep. And Antonio is going to be on the play. Yeah, we see a forcible in the front. It's going to be interesting. This Traditionally, game one of this matchup uh, it definitely favors the yeah, reanimator. Yeah, definitely, deck. yeah. I agree. Um, how much graveyard hate does uh, does Darrow have access to after sideboarding J and pyroblasts? Yeah, he just has the Bajuka Bog and uh, a Phyrexian Metamorph. And a Tormod script. Yeah, and a Tormod script. So, so he pretty much has three cards. Yeah, and maybe some pyroblasts to try to force him through. But Do you think he would ever board into Natural Order or Progenitus? He might, just to try to go big. But the problem yeah. with that is that too many of Antonio's main plans beat it. You know, like yeah. he could just drop uh, a Blazing Archon or 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 race it with his okay. own giant fatty. He might, though. He might just do it just to combo off because I think it's a question of how bad are the slew cards in his deck. Yep. All right. So Antonio, very disappointed, fetching up... Uh, oh, no, he didn't fetch it. He just yeah. has the Swamp. What's Darrow going to do here? Okay. Turn one Noble Hierarch. Pretty, pretty strong trying to, to ramp up his mana. Oh, wow. Turn one of Tomb. This is probably game over for Darrow. Yeah, yeah. This this, this is the uh, the worst possible situation. I mean, what card is this? Do you think Elish Norn? He's gonna go bigger. What do you think? See, it's tricky. You wonder. Uh, I mean, is it Iona? Just so you can name White. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, with Cataxian. Yeah, yeah, Jin Cataxian. He's Kataxian. the best one. I mean, he's the most powerful one by default. You, that's a sign that he has a force of will. Yeah. Like if you it have is. a force of will, you just play Jin Kataxis and you win the game on the spot because you just draw seven and you mind twist Daryl. Daryl's going to have one crack at a plow. Yep. But he, if he's got a force of will already, it's, yeah, it's a done dot. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure he does have a anime spell. Yeah, there it goes. Could be Exhum. Could be Animate Dead. Even Reanimate is fine here. I mean, Antonio yep. has so many. Uh, so many lives to spare mm -hmm. much in, in, uh, in this game. Now keep in mind, it's possible Daryl could race this. You know, he gets one more turn. Now, if, he, if Antonio somehow Ooh. doesn't have a Force of Will. Yeah. Yep. All right, so there's the anime dead. On Jin Kataxis. He needs a Caracas bad right now. He really does. So Antonio draws seven? Uh, yep. Immediately. Yeah, immediately draws seven. Jin Kataxis is one of the two biggest you know, like yeah. one of the toughest dudes in the game. Yeah, it's, it's just like a necro, you know, it's like... Yeah. All right, Antonio's going to sculpt his hand, just, you know, keep all the force of wills that he could and all the blue cards. Yeah, it looks like he's got at least one. Yep, and he's just going to try to ride uh, ride him to victory. All right. Is that's part of the reason why, you know, like, uh, Caracas is so important. Um, it actually can get you out of these situations uncounterable. Yep. Uh, right. But a Wasteland's not going to do it. His yeah. best play is probably none of the Reliquary to try to go get Caracas. Oh, I but agree. But a force of will will stop that. Yeah. But, I mean, he still has to go for it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, this just shows the power of Reanimator. Yeah, absolutely. That's, I mean, Entomb is definitely one of the most powerful cards in this format. Yeah, really. I remember when Entomb was, like, a $2 card. It was, like, $2. Oh, back when, yeah, but yeah. Went back when it was banned, it was, you know. Yeah, $6. And, yeah. yeah. But then it skyrocketed yeah. once it took over Legacy. Yep. All right, so there's a Green Sun Zenith for two. And that's what he met with. Yep. Yeah, right. he just and packs it in. Darryl, Doesn't even wow. want to see. Just, just scoops it up. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to see some Pyroblasts coming in. We're going to see Bajuka Bog. I think we're actually going to see a couple Enlightened Tutors, too. Okay. Because things are so desperate. I think he's got to be willing to go turn one Enlightened Tutor, go get Tormod Script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or see that. to Enlightened Tutor for a Metamorph in order to kill a Legend. Yep. Yeah, that could definitely be uh, the case as well. I mean, Daryl will be on the play, yep. uh, which is definitely beneficial. He could, you know do a turn one land tutor like like you suggest or you could just you know go turn one double high arc and not be in fear of antonio just getting him already exactly you know now he he's got a lot of bad cards game one so his deck's going to improve significantly yeah, punishing, punishing fire how is jitte you know sword of some of the famine. some of the slower creatures the sword of feast and famine yeah just the, the stone forge mystics uh yeah i mean like and he might end up just keeping the Sword of Feast and Famine just so that his Mystics can get something if he doesn't have enough, like if he can't take out all those, but he might just transform into the Progenitus deck. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. So if he cuts the three Stone Forge, the two Equipment, that's five. The four Punishing Fire. That's nine. That's nine. Um, and then if he gets, he, the, the Progenitus Natural Order combo is five, and Light Tutor six, seven, Pyroblast is 10, Majuka Bog 11, Metamorph and Tormod's Crypt 12, 13, so he's got to cut two more. 
Uh, I can see him kind of Scrib Ranger. Yeah, definitely Scrib Ranger. Yeah. 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 He might cut two more. Yeah, yeah, I think he actually uh, had to cut four more. Because I think he might need to keep the Scrib Ranger just to have something to sack or to untap the Knight of the Relic to take over a game pretty quickly. Okay, that's Probably fine. Probably just cut a couple of other runes. Yeah. I mean, you gotta you gotta cut something, and if he's gonna be comboing him out, he's not gonna be nickel and diamond. Okay, and uh, what do you think Antonio is gonna do? Let's see. So. He's probably gonna mix around his uh, fatties a little bit. Like he might, he might bring in Blazing Archon. Okay. Um, if uh, if if Blazing Archon is better than Angel of Despair, I'm not I'm not positive which is better, yeah, but Angel just have a slightly better fatty. Seems not that strong. Yeah, because I don't think Daryl's deck is about key permanents, other yeah. than Progenitus, which has yeah, protection. Like, like like you reanimating a, a Angel of Despair is just like eh. Yeah. So and, and I mean it's just too expensive to cast. Yeah. And so then uh, uh, the question is, how many show and tells, if any, does he bring in? I think all of them, no? Well, I mean, that's one of the dances. Like, the more graveyard hate he's expecting, the more he wants show and tell. Exactly. But uh, um, the, uh, the, there's also, you know, Thought Seize or Spell Pierce or Dispel. I don't think those are really the right way for this matchup. Yeah, I think it's probably he's going to try to change his, his deck as little as possible. He's already set up game one for this matchup. Okay. He, if anything, he might just upgrade one of his fatties and... Uh, and switch into that show and tell action. It's possible to switch around his interaction a little bit. Like I'm, I'm sure he's got a much better idea of like out of out of days, thought sees, and so on. Which is the right mix for the Maverick matchup? Okay, yeah, that's definitely fair. I, I honestly think Antonio is just still a huge favorite. Even yeah. On the draw, you know, it's. Yeah, this is a rough matchup. Um, he does have two scavenging oozes, which are significantly better on the play. Because if you can just drop the ooze on turn two. Yeah. If you're not uh, dead outright. You can just lock up the game with the ooze. The ooze is real hard. You yeah, know? yeah, you just have to leave open mana. Do you, do you think uh, maybe Antonio will bring in a, a Echoing Truth or two? I don't know. I don't know if he's going to give him enough credit for having permanence that he actually needs to stop. He might want to just focus on being as fast as possible. Okay. You know, Thought Seize might be a slightly better way to deal with that. Yeah. It is nice that Green Sun Zenith uh, gives him so many ways to play the ooze on turn two if he has like a Noble Hierarch or a Green Sun Zenith for one, zero on turn one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, or even a Bird of Paradise. So, yeah. yeah. And something else to keep in mind, uh, I don't know how much is going to come up in this matchup, but you can uh, animate dead out of your opponent's graveyard. Yeah. Which is, you know, like occasionally gives you solutions to problems in ways that you, you normally wouldn't have had. Yeah. Um, and uh, Quasali Pride Mage is also a pretty good card for Daryl because it could, you know, Potentially kill. Potentially do one of those. Yeah, you know. So, I mean, Daryl is definitely an underdog, but he does have a, a few kind of grindy... Uh, He's got a few tricks up his sleeve. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, he, he might randomly Teague to, to lock out Force of Wills. If he sticks in another Relic where he can take over the game very quickly. Yeah. I, I mean, Daryl's looking for a turn two night. That, that's, a, that's a real good way to go. And I think Daryl will probably have to mulligan aggressively for, uh, for, for him to get the draw that he really wants. Well, the, the best possible card, I think, is, is Caracas. Yeah, okay. Like, it's uncounterable and locks out all the, good, all the best fatties. Yeah, I can definitely get behind that... Uh, that right there. All right, so it looks like they're presenting their decks. They're shuffling each other up. Again, uh, Daryl's to the left with Naya Punishing Fire. Also, uh, you know, Maverick type type deck. And uh, Antonio's on the right with Reanimator. So and there's a judge watching. Table judge, hard at work. Working hard. All right, so let's see if they keep their opening seven. Laying it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So, what's Daryl gonna do? Daryl. He's got Caracas. Ooh. Five lands. I can't believe he ships it. No, it was five lands, double natural order. Yeah, but one of them was Caracas. Yeah, I know. Caracas is really good. Dude, I he showed I'm... the camera. I, I'm pretty sure it was five lands, double natural it was. order. Yeah, it was. Um, but I think, which one of his creatures are not legends? So his big ones, he's, he'd be left with uh, Sphinx of Steel, uh, Sphinx of Steel Wind. Okay. Uh, or uh, Blazing Archon. Okay. Uh, or Imperial Archangel, just because it has Shroud. Okay. You know, that's not a ton. I, I think if I were Daryl, I might consider getting him. You, you wouldn't be able to pull that trick two games in a row. Yeah. It's actually not that bad of a hand because if he draws no. any green creature. Exactly. You know, and like you have to assume one of the natural orders. Caracas is you know, the or... best card. I would, I mean, you, I would mulligan to Caracas. Yeah. So I, I think that even though the hand is normally just absolutely miserable, Caracas is so good in this matchup that uh, that I'd run it and I wouldn't play the Caracas. 
Okay. I would just hold it. Yeah, hold it, yeah. And just try to get to bait him so that he entombs for, for one of the other fatties, you know? Sure, yeah. All right, so they both mulligan. I think Reanimator is a deck that mulligans pretty well. You know, probably mulligans better than Daryl's deck. Yeah, Reanimator mulligans very well. Yeah, sometimes you win with like four cards. You're just like, yeah, I have this, this, and this. I win. Now, now, to be fair, Daryl's deck actually isn't too bad on the mulligan, just because cards like Knight of the Reliquary and Scavenging Ooze in this matchup and Stoneforge Mystic can win the game on their own. Sure. Or Natural Order. I mean, yeah. he doesn't need a lot of cards. All Legacy right. definitely has a lot of decks that are very resilient. Yeah. This hand, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I see a wasteland. Yeah. All right, so see, now he's wishing he had a Caracas. Yeah. And you know, actually, upon further thought, I think you might end up having to play the Caracas by turn two, just because you don't want to end up in the situation where they get to draw seven off. Exactly, yeah. I was, I was about to say that, but... Yeah, I think yeah. I think the, that's that's a real tough situation. Yeah, tweet in, tweet in. If you think you would keep five lands, would you, yeah. order, one of them being Caracas. Caracas, four basically Savannahs. Yeah, a, sure, yeah. Uh, you have all the duels you want. And two natural orders. Yeah. Or I guess maybe a, a, a tiger or something. Get the red man in there too, but... Yeah. No, I mean, it doesn't matter. Actually, Punishing Fires is only... Well, the, the Pyroblast. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, but... All right, so I think Antonio kept on uh, on six, correct? Uh, I think Antonio kept at six. All right. Yeah, but Daryl's going to five. Not really where you want to be. Playing for top eight, down a game. Bowling into five, and then... Uh, yeah. But he's got a lot of live draws. Yeah. You All know, right. I mean, obviously, especially uh, especially if he, he if he plays a uh, Tormod's Crypt early yeah. to buy him some time, and then drops the Scavenging Goose to lock him out. Okay. That's a one-two punch that will win the game against Antonio. We got and a couple Antonio's of tweets here. Little. See, see what, what they say. All right, and the game's starting. All right. Oh, turn one. Wow, this is a pretty good five. Absolutely. Three lands, Noble Hierarch, and uh, Natural, Natural Order. Order. Just go for the quick kill. Yep. So turn one, Noble Hierarch. The problem is that uh, if Antonio has Entomb, he can go find Blazing Archon yeah. and just lock it out. All right. But he probably doesn't know to do that, you know? Yeah, he probably doesn't. All right, so Antonio... It's going to be funny if he doesn't get Jink Yeah. and then is surprised with, a, oh, by the way, Natural Order. All right, there's nope. an island. Well, if he goes get uh, the uh, Jink Ataxius, there's a good chance he draws a Porcelain. Yeah, yeah, or a Daze. Yeah, or a Daze, yeah, exactly. Such a brutal matchup. All right, brainstorm at the uh, end of Daryl's turn. We got three cards there. Kind of tough to tell exactly what's in Antonio's hand. But he's going to put back two of them and then immediately draw one of them. Yep. What do you think about getting Basic Island here instead of uh, Underground Sea? I mean, Playing around fine. Wasteland. Yeah, I mean, you know Daryl has Wasteland in his deck. You don't want to, you know... Maybe he's a uh, shy and mana. He wants to be absolutely sure he gets to cast a couple brainstorms. Yeah, lots of times when when someone's playing and their opponent mulligans to like five, they play like extra cautiously because they're just like, I don't like, I want to. I, I want to make sure. Yeah, exactly. Wanna... And sometimes it costs them the game by playing too cautiously. <laughs> All right, so there's another brainstorm for for Antonio. Maybe he's uh, trying to look for thoughtsies of some sort. I see a reanimate in his hand. That can be pretty good. Yeah. Get back one of his fatties if he manages to get it in the graveyard. Definitely a slower game. I mean, it's it's definitely a very, very different sort of uh, battle when Antonio, when the reanimator deck does not have a uh, an entomb. Yep. All right. Now, do you think Daryl goes for it, or does he wait Ooh, a turn? wow. Yeah, if well, he waits a turn, he'll have Pyroblast back up yeah, and pay yeah. for days. Um, you know, right here, it would just be a field play. Kind of like the Brock Parker feel loser. You just have to take a look at him. Yeah, yeah. You just play just by feel. Just feel it. Just, just uh, like put your hand down. Yeah. I mean, sense the vibrations. Oh, there's a Bajuka Bog. So he plays the Bajuka Bog, not really getting any value out of it, but just so that next turn he'll have five minutes so that he can exactly. pyroblast and protect Progenitus. Yeah. So, I, so I guess his feel is right because Antonio does have the uh, the days. Mm. Antonio actually had the days at the top of like his 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 hand. Yeah. You know, normally I try to hide it, just like. Yeah? yeah, hide it from yourself so you don't keep looking at yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. But uh, hide that mother lover from myself. All right, so I think Antonio is just gonna go for uh, the show and tell right here, and uh, he's gonna be surprised when Daryl plays a power blast. I could be wrong though. He might not go for the show and tell, but I think he is. He does. There's a show and tell. Surprise! No, he's got a power blast. There's a power blast. 
Mm, let me put that cup back into my hand. Yeah. Imagine that's like a sick bluff. Like Antonio doesn't even have anything. Absolutely, just throw it at the pyroblast. Yeah. So nice. I don't think that's the case this time. But. Nope. All right. So now, 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 if you're Daryl, do you get greedy and attack for one? No. <laughs> I know. I know. All right. Here it comes the natural order. Yeah. I don't know about leaving Savannah up instead of Tyga. Yeah, Tyga is definitely a better play to leave up to. Unless he has plow or. Uh, yeah. 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 He, I mean, if he actually has the plow, maybe. Yeah. All right. So that's going to resolve. Mm. I'm pretty sure. Well, the no hierarchs in the graveyard anyway. Yeah. Days. Oh, uh, no. This is going to be a double days. Is it? It's days for days. Oh, no. What? It, it resolves. He just wants to tap him out of the white. Huh. All right. Fair enough. All right. There it is. All right. Answer. Progenitus. Answer my progenitus. The clock is on two. Yep. Wow. I, I, I bet Antonio never lost. He would, like, I'd, like, never guess he would be in this position so close to losing. That's, I mean, the power of the, the natural order sideboard. It's not the most unusual, but it's uh, very effective. Yep. It's interesting to see these two plans against each other because both natural order and all the reanimation spells all uh, hosed by the new cage. Yep. A sign that the format may be changing. All right, so I think Antonio's going to lead off with a careful study. And do we have a judge's ruling on, on how many things Progenitus has protection from right now? I think it's everything. It's, <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, is that is that that's the uh, oracle? Yep. All right. All right. So Antonio's gonna ditch. Hey, this, this He's got the archangel. He's definitely gonna be looking to discard fatties. You yeah, know, unless but, he just has another show and tell. But I don't think it's gonna be enough. What is it, Elish Norn? No, He's, Elish Norn doesn't get the job done. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, if not. he doesn't find the archon, yeah, then he's gonna be Argon. In tomb. Oh wow! Now we can find the archon. Yeah, and he has the reanimate. That's sick. Yep. He does. He boards in the archon. Very strong Man. play. Wow, it's like. And he actually has the reanimate. Dude, Legacy's such a crazy Dude, format. Dude, I know it keeps swinging. Yeah. A lot of people can't handle Legacy. They can't handle the swings. They can. But uh, for those who do, it definitely seems to invoke a lot of passion. Yes. All right. Let's see if Daryl finds an answer. Oh, there's a wasteland. Yeah, but okay. not uh doesn't do too much. Not yet. that not, not, not super effective. Yep. All so, right. so now the clock is on four the other way. Yeah. There's a now all Antonio's there. trying to do now is find a layer of permission, you know, something to protect his uh, Archon, right? Yeah. A force of will would be uh would be his best bet. Yeah, it looks like he's already got a blue card in his hand. Yeah, I think it's a spell pier. Oh no, a spell oh, pier is on, on top. top, yeah. Alright, so... No, no force of will, so time to shuffle. Yeah, it seems fine. Shuffles up there. So Antonio in a real good spot, but if yeah, Daryl ever draws is. a plow... Yeah, it's just... Does he have anything else besides plow? I think plow is the only card that could get him out of this jam. I mean, Maze of Ith obviously buys him some time. Yeah, buys him a lot of time. None of the reliquary would help go fetch up the, the maze. Yeah, Enlightened Tutor. You can metamorph oh, the Archon. There it is. Does he have it? Yeah, he just drilled off the top and just played it. Wow. Ooh, there's a force. Ooh, there's a force of will. Okay. But that's got to be Antonio's only layer of permission. Yep. So, Antonio's going to crack, knock Daryl to five, and Daryl's going to be on one chance. I think Daryl should have waited on the plow. Imagine this is like a pyroblast. Oh, he has another one. Another wow. force of will. Brutal. Wow. Oh, it's just natural order. All right. Uh, uh, wow. All right. Antonio leaving nothing to chance. Awesome. He's very pumped. Right. Antonio seems very happy. His uh, yeah, locks his up top eight. The animator deck pays off, and he's in top eight. USA! Oh, wait, oh I'm sorry, Venezuela! 